What's poppin'? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this look. And this is a smoky eye. I call it my baby maker smoky eye because, you know, it gets you poppin', you know what I'm saying? It gets you poppin'. Uh, and even if you don't have a significant other to use this baby maker with, girl, you can just be fly by yourself, okay? And stun on them. There's definitely levels to smoky eyes though. Um, so if you don't want to make a baby, then you'll probably do something a little more subtle. I don't usually do smoky eyes like this, but when I do, I do it big. Yep. I'll see you guys um, in the next clip because I'll be talking to you guys then. Okay, peace out. Bye, 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 bye. Hey guys, what's up? First, I'm gonna start by moisturizing my face. Of course. And of course, I'm going to use the same moisturizer that I always use, my Glam Glow Glow Starter Moisturizer, just to get my skin prepped and ready to go. Primer that I'm gonna use is my current favorite, which is the Benefit Professional Primer. I love this primer. I've been using it all year because it's smoothing. It just helps the skin to be smooth. I'm actually gonna do my eyes first, because I'm gonna be wearing so much black eyeshadow, I don't want my eyeshadow to fall onto my face after I've done my face. Yeah, we're gonna moisturize the lips really quickly, because uh, I don't want no crusty crusts. We ain't pizza, we're not doing that tonight. My palette of shadows. This is my Makeup Geek palette of eyeshadows. I've been using this palette nonstop. I'm gonna take Coco Bear first. On this shader brush, this is a Sigma E25 blending. And I'm just gonna take Coco Bear, it's a very nice brown color, right here in the crease area. You can use a primer, um, but an uh, eye primer, but I'm not, I just, I don't know. I've never really liked the whole idea of eye primers. I just don't feel like it's necessary for me to use eye primer, um, but you can if you want. And I like to start from the crease and work my way down because um, I don't have to go back and do a ton of blending on top of the black because I've already done my crease color. And then I'm gonna take a clean brush, blend those harsh edges out, let that really transition into the brow bone area. Now I call this my baby maker smoky eye because this the smoky eye, you know, really gets things heated. Um, if you're trying to be celibate, you should not be wearing the smoky eye with your mans. Um, and I'm not gonna do my lower lash line until after I do my concealer and all that. So it's better to start off with less and work your way up to more as you go, as you progress with the look. If you put on too much at once, you're gonna have a hard time blending it out. So be careful, guys. Now that I have my crease color down, I'm gonna move into the actual smoky part of the look. And I'm gonna use this Ofra Fixed line eyeliner gel, and it's just a black eyeliner gel. You can use any eyeliner gels that you want. This eyeliner gel is actually really, really, really pigmented. Like, you don't even need a lot. I'm basically lining my eyelid. I'm not really like going ham all over because I don't want the color to go where it doesn't need to be at. I'm trying to concentrate the color on my lid area. And my lid space isn't really a lot of space. If you have smaller eyelids, you're gonna wanna like basically just line your lid and then blend it out. So, Take a blending brush and blend out that gel well before it dries. You want to move quickly because it does dry quickly. So now I'm going to pack on this black shadow. I believe this is Corrupt. I'll put a list of all of the shadows that I'm using in the description box, of course. I'm going to pack this shadow on to intensify. Very careful with this black shadow. And it helps if you don't take that gel base all the way up to the crease so that when you do get to the area where the crease and the lid meet you can just use this shadow to kind of blend it together and it's not like a really harsh line. I'm going to take a dark brown shadow and I'm going to go back into the crease with it with a more tapered blending brush to kind of like give me a precise blend over that line where the black stops to kind of like blend it out even more. So that's the lid. Very very simple. You can always go back and fix what you need to when you finish. And I'm, today I'm going to use the Matte and Poreless Foundation, the Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation. And blend that all over my skin. I'm going to take my Born This Way concealer and I'm going to put that under my eyes.
I usually let this concealer sit um, before I blend it out. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows next and I'm gonna use my uh, Benefit brow pencil. And I'm just gonna blend out my concealer. Now I'm going to contour. I just, I feel like my face is not complete with a smoky eye if I don't contour. And I'm just gonna take my contour brush, blend that out. I'm gonna go in with my Max Studio Fix Powder in NC43, um, and I'm gonna just lightly press that under the eye area. It just sets everything so well, and it looks so airbrushed. And once I've set that, I'm gonna go in with my RCMA powder, and this is the uh, No Color Powder, and I'm going to mix that with some of my, my, my Sasha Buttercup powder, um, because I feel like it just looks better um, when it's a little bit yellow. I'm gonna just apply this heavily under my eyes to catch the fallout. And I'm also gonna set my nose area and my forehead area. Because I don't wanna bake my forehead, I'm actually gonna like dust this away a bit. All right, now I'm gonna work on my under eyes. So I'm gonna go back with that um, gel liner. I'm gonna go underneath my eye. Now that I've got that line going, I'm gonna blend that out. So I'm gonna use a very precise brush, um, something very small, like this one. The blending brush that I used on the crease area and the crease color that I used. And I'm gonna blend right here under the eye. Then I'm gonna go back in again with a very precise brush and get really close to the lash line with a black eyeshadow again. Cause we're again, we're trying to make a baby, okay? Going for twins here, so. You guys are gonna eat me alive talking about babies. I don't even know why I do this to myself. I set myself up for failure with the title of this video. I already know it's coming. Now from here you can add glitter, you can add a pop of color in the corner if you want to, but I'm just going to do my normal pop of um, shine and pop that in the inner corner right here and right here. I'm also going to pop this right here under my brow bone. So now we're going to bring a little bit of color back to the face. So I'm going to take my... Um, palette of face product and this is my makeup geek palette i'm going to take the blush um here and covet and chivalry blend that over the cheeks a little just to bring a little bit of color back um using half-hearted contour pa pan color from makeup geek as well and i'm going to take a smaller brush and go down my nose I'm gonna go back and blend over everything um, with my powder that I normally use, and that would be the Makeup Forever Ultra Pro Finish Powder, I mean. Use whatever I have left, just to make sure everything is blended really good. What lashes are these? Uh, Coco Lashes Goddess Lashes. And you want your glue to get a little tacky before you put them on. And I'm just going to land the spaceship. Let it sit right where my lashes start. I'm just going to press that down. I'm going to take the other lash. I like these lashes because they're very easy to put on. Very, very easy. I'm just going to land the spaceship again. You want your glue to be as tacky as possible, but you don't want it to be too dry. It's always an art, putting on lashes. Well, I think we got it on. 
and it's going to push those lashes and my lashes together. Thank God I don't have my talons anymore so I can really get in there and just pinch those together. But you want to feel like your lashes are coming out of your own eye socket. There we go. And I have mascara on the bottom lashes, but I think I'm going to add a little bit more. I mean, you really can't see my lashes anyway because I've got so much darn eyeshadow on. Pretend like you can see them. Alright. So now that our eyes are nice and Kodak black, what happened to my lights? Now I'm finished with the eyes, I'm finished with the face, pretty much. I didn't highlight. Let me highlight. Who am I? My favorite highlighter currently is Churro by, uh, who is this? Colourpop. Sorry. Right here on my cheekbones. It reminds me a lot of Gilded Honey, but not as golden. I like gold, but I wear a lot of silver too. So sometimes I don't really know what kind of highlight to wear. This is like a go-to for me. Put it on the nose. Now that my highlight is on fleek, I'm just gonna blend that out on my cheek area right here, just to soften it up. But when light hits it, you'll still be able to see it. This look calls for a very nude lip. Now if you're feeling real fancy, you could do like a dark lip. So I'm gonna try these Lip Whips um, by Beauty Bakery. This one is Salted Caramel Mocha Whip and it actually really goes well with my lip color. Um, it looks like very, it's like my lip color, like exactly my lip color. Um, it reminds me a lot of Ashton, but like not as warm toned as Ashton by Beverly, Anastasia Beverly Hills. This lipstick is all me. It's all me, okay. And these lip whips are like bulletproof, guys. And since this look is called the baby maker, that means that it's going down in the DMs. So you're probably gonna need something that's gonna last you all night, right? If you've seen the swatches on the Beauty Bakery Instagram, they have where somebody like swatched all the colors on their arm and then ran water over it, put soap on it. It ain't going nowhere. You wanna make sure that your lips are very moisturized though because it's kind of dry. Just for the sake of chappiness, I'm gonna add a little gloss on top just to be safe on the safe side. I don't want my lips to get dry. And they usually get dry right here in the inner rim. So that is it for this look. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, and like this video to let me know that you want me to do more tutorials like this. I will see you guys in my next video, okay? Bye.